right. Oh, I'm out here getting hypothermia. Would you bring me to the helix? Where's Buddy? Uh, uh, Buddy told me he'd, bring, he'd collect me about four hours ago. He went to Tesco's and got lost. Don't be freezing. Jump in. Come ah, on. Good woman. I'll give Thanks you a spin. Million. This year, you are fittingly going back to where you belong. Well, it's 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 the case of when we were doing it last year. Yeah. It is. Because you didn't know. It was so last minute, wasn't it? With everything that was going on, it was like, will you, won't you? It was mental. It was a whole process. You were like Charlene and uh, Jason. Now, Scott and Charlene from Neighbours was like, will they, won't they? I'm too young to remember Neighbours. Um, but uh, it was. It was a process in itself. Mm. Like, we, we were there. When we were there, it was like... Um, I got a creak in my neck. I kept like, I was like twisting around being like, what is going on? Because it, uh, camera work is a different medium. Like okay. live audiences to me are everything. Of course, because they feed back so much. Well, especially in Panto, because yeah. a lot of Panto is feeding to and getting from the audience. Yeah. So that's kind of what drives the Panto. Okay. And doing it on camera last year it took me a couple of days to actually get into it to be honest you with couldn't you couldn't tell yeah no it, was, it took it me a couple of days to, to get into it but it was like once i figured out how panto was going to work virtually yeah then i was grand so I you're ready like, for fair city now really I would t- i'm just waiting for a call from someone you any, know any minute now call of duty what did you just watch neve, what neve needs a red-headed sister you know oh my god and you're imagine, so alike could you imagine lola rocking up there i'd love it yeah so what is the panto and the helix this year? The panto is Red Riding Hood. Right, okay. But now it's not the story of Red Riding Hood, it's a story of Red Riding Hood. She's involved? She's there. Right. She's there. Okay. And unfortunately this year, and I need to talk to somebody about this, I've been bumped up to Granny. <gasps> Lola, congratulations. No, you need, and I'll never be called Granny, it's Nanny or nothing, or Nana. 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 Or just Lola. Nana Lola. Yeah, no, I'm not Nan- happy. Why are you not Granny? I'm not happy about Nanny? that. Nanny? Nanny's grand. What's wrong with Granny? Granny just makes it sound like I've wrinkles. Or I should have grey hair. Yeah, but you could or be... Or I go back to the blue or purple You could be a super wash. grand, cool grand. No, you know, not like happy a, I'm not a regular mom. I'm not a regular no. Granny. I'm a super Granny. No, I was happy cool with being granny. a young man. Right, okay. But like now, now the writers are on. looking at me going Granny. I do, I, do you know what? I don't like that. I don't like when they, you know... I do I think, look, I look like a very young Linda Martin. Ashling is playing Ashling's Red Riding Hood. playing Red Riding Hood. And we have a few familiar faces. Okay. Um, we have Buddy's back. I love Buddy Buddy. Who's your best pal? Buddy Buddy Buddy. He's basically like my adopted son. But he is. the reality is he just won't leave. Yeah. He ha- he's, but he's, is he getting a little bit more independence? Do you think that... Obviously, to COVID help. No, out see, at all? he g- he gains a little bit of independence, and then he runs out of money and comes home, yeah. like every like every Irish son. Yes, yeah, fair. Do you they do all, his washing and everything, though, don't you? The, the what? You do his washing and everything. I do everything it? for him, but yeah. sure, he's living in an apartment now on his own, and he sends his washing over. Right. Okay. So he's not able to live on his own now, and I don't get on his back too often, because like I do, I do like him. But you're going to say you love him there. No, no, no. We oh, won't jump to conclusions. Okay, fair now. enough. Fair but enough. Um, he's back. And then we have the beautiful Orla Jennings is back. Fab. So she she wasn't... Um, she surprised us okay. that she's coming back. Okay, brilliant. Um, she will be playing Goldilocks. So In Red Riding Hood? Okay, yeah, there's gotcha. a, the, the story, I'm really excited about the story and I actually don't know how much can I can me. give away without give away being anything. fired. Okay, don't get fired, sure you're only getting back. I know, That's, yeah. I'll be back eating club bars on the couch. Oh, I'm not, I literally, I was jabbing the hut during lockdown. So Paul Byron was back this year as well? Paul's back and contrary to belief, Paul is always the baddie. Yes, so he's the baddie. I adore the man. He is the best crack in the world, Paul Byram. Okay. He um, he, he wasn't there last year. No, he was off last year. I think he was launching an album or something, wasn't he? He was off doing his thing. Doing as a prophet. Yeah, singer. we weren't okay. good enough from last year. Yeah, well, so. he's back now and then capping his he hand. He is, he is. We had Owen last year, but okay. Paul is back this year and he is an evil warlock. So the last thing Paul Byram needed was magical powers. Yeah. So um, something to look forward to. No, he's absolutely brilliant. So he is. And then we have James Deegan back as well. Uh, he will be playing 
the wolf. Oh, wow. So there is a wolf. There is a wolf. Right, but okay. But again... I'm, I'm not going to give away in what capacity there's a wolf. Okay. So... To be honest, I don't know yet. No, fair. <laughs> you just you just turn up and shine. That's what stars do, Lola. Well, look, it takes it takes an hour to get the face looking like this. So you get in. It's just some tweaks to the beauty, really. Yeah, you, you just pluck a hair on your eyebrow and bang. Well, with lashes like that, hang tight, Lola. These bumps in the helix. I'll are tell you something. I'm going to need a cushion shortly. Are you okay? No, we'll need to go to the chemist for a cream or okay. something. You keep going over them. Well, it's that's when we look. There's your theatre. Thanks a million. Buddy no, says he would have collected me earlier on, but he went to Tesco's and got lost. Are you coming to the Phantom? Well, is that like a like a date? Sure, look. Will you say hi to me? It is 2021, love. <laughs> Dublin's 98 FM.